upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. Hiya kittens! Welcome back to Life is Strange, episode 3! It's finally here! And we're back to the episode. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick. So they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But they scared it away. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf <laughs> even made friends with a raccoon. And together, they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and got badly hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south, to the distant homeland of their papa wolf. That's right, Captain Sparrow got hurt. I could have saved Captain Sparrow, but that didn't happen, because apparently I chose wrong. So now we should be with the so-called hippie bunch, punks, drifters, nomads, whatever you would like to call them. I would assume there's music to this, but I have copywritten music taken out, which kind of takes away the immersion a bit. Yeah, it's definitely copywritten music. He's listening to music. Dun 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 da dun 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 da 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 We got magazines and we got books. We have drawings on the door. We have a computer, and the duffel bag. Is this like before? Is this before all the bad things happened and we are dreaming? There's our little brother Daniel, who's about to disturb us. And he's sneaking. What is he doing? Daniel, what are you doing? No way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> what did he take? Oh, this is Seattle, three months before the accident. Or incident, whoops. Wait. Look, concert ticket. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. Something tells me this was after. No, no, I didn't want to read. Little bug, use my laptop. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Who's up for the reservoir dive tomorrow? Pass, homework, 
B.S. He's going in his birthday suit. How? There's a big fence. Jump it, track star. Wire cutters just in case. I'll take a brain check. No way out, birthday boy. Answer the phone. There's no backing out. Look at me. <sighs> kind of lame. Kind of Swipe lame. Left. Swipe left. <laughs> Are you on a dating app, Sean? Jeez. I forgot how uh, touchy feely so this is. Bullshit. But I got bone and party bills now. My name. Dear Z Mart Sales Department Manager, my name is Sean Diaz and I am a 16 year old high school with student with a 3.5 GPA. Mrs. Castillo from the Future Youth Project referred me to your store and department to apply for a position of part time assistant manager. Were you going to put manager? I have worked in customer service at my father's garage since I was 13, and I have experience with people and registers. As a track runner, I also know how important it is to be part of a team, and since I already know your sports department, I think it would be a good addition to the Z-Mart sales team. Thank you, and I hope to hear back from you. Sincerely yours, Sean Diaz. Yeah, you don't need the yours part of it. Wish I had a teacher who helped. Oh. Patch. Scored it at the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on. I can't sew it on. Okay. Can we draw? Man, you suck at perspective. You suck at. Class. You suck at perspective. I mean, you honestly look like you do very good with your perspective drawing. This icon means Daniel's in that direction. Okay. Of course. Like I want to play fucking hide and seek. Uh, black toys, flash, robot toys, gift. He's under the blanket. Why can't I? Maybe he's invisible now. Creepy toy, laser tag, lasers, pictures, toilet. Did this for Daniel's birthday. <laughs> he was so happy with it. Cool. Got this for a girl in the eighth grade. Thought I chickened out. So you gave it to your little bro. How cute. What's that? Gift from Lila. <laughs> Daniel never got so close to proposing to her. Where is he? Can I crouch? No. Okay, so maybe he's not in here. Boop. He's not there. I heard it in my left, so he's somewhere. He's not under the table? No. Is he behind the TV? No. Oh, there is a second door. How come I didn't see the second door? Whoa, hold on. <gasps> Let go! Stop it! Dude, I told you to stay out of my room. Ow! That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Language, boys! Uh, shampoo hit yourself? I'm not gonna hit myself. Did you hear me, Daniel? You shall not enter your brother's room. Watch out, man. You started it, dickhead. What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! Dad! I told him not to come so into my room. He never and listens. He hit me and broke the trophy. He's lying. He always does that when he gets busted. Little shit. Enough. You Language. Listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? 
I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything. Uh-huh. Let's talk. Ugh. Now. This is so stupid. It's bullshit. Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? <sighs> Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up. You need space. More freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. Be nice. I know that. And I do look out for him. I swear. But he's a little brat. So were you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Be nice about this. Okay. Okay. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him. Like you are now. <laughs> Says me, hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay, get back to work. <laughs> what kid wants to hear that when they're a teenager? I mean, there's some, but I definitely rolled my eyes every single time my parents were like, I'm proud of you. You got an, you got an A in calculus. I'm proud of you. Mm. Is there anything else I can do here? Can I actually put the patch on? Nope. Nope. Let's leave. Can I come in? No. The big bad brother. No. Stay out. I said no. Get out. Whatever. You don't listen to me. Whoa, don't know who drew this, but it's totally rad. Hey, Daniel, why are you pouting? A young space warrior should never pout. We need to stand strong against the enemy. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm running out of punchlines here. Leave me alone. Okay, so that didn't work. Warning, caution, danger, like his light switch doesn't work and it's going to shock him. So we got the robot toys, the plushie. And don't touch my stuff. Creepy, creepy toy, creepy alien. Let's do creepy oh, alien. We kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? We wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. Why are you still here? Because you're my little bro, bro. We're going to be bestest of friends. You don't know what's going to go happen. Oh, we could do spaceships. He likes spaceships. Maybe we do... Something... Yeah, I'm going to tell on you. I mean... Yeah, tell on me. Because Dad didn't tell me to come and play oh, with you. I forgot about Bobby the Yeti. <laughs> I brought it back from that field trip to Vancouver. I mean, who does that? Other than a super cool big brother. Ah, he's right, Daniel. 
You should totally forgive him. See? I'm not saying it. Bobby does. <laughs> nope, that one didn't work. Robot toys. I know the spaceship's probably going to be the, like, be-all, end-all. Pam, haven't seen you in forever. That made me give this to you. You always wanted my toys. Does this even work anymore? Not after you took care of it. Poor Robo. No battery. Duh. Come on. Go away. Oh, now you can hear me? Well, Just leave me alone. You were ragging on the toy that he stole from you, basically. Oh, the spaceship, I think, is the last thing here. Is there something else? No. Spaceship. Oh, I could speak to him? We're going to try to convince with the spaceship. Hey, that's cool. Did you make it? Be careful. Whoa. Roger. No problem. So I know you're Mr. Careful. Mm. Okay, if I sit down. So, when did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself, since I'm not around as much. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm leaving home. You might as well. I never see you. We don't even play games anymore. We don't do anything. Daniel, I just... Play some video games tonight. I hang out with my friends sometimes. You're going to be doing the same thing in a couple of years. Hi. I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd give me one. At the thrift store last week. But you forgot. Like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Wow! Thanks, Sean. Aww. This is so cool. Aww. I'll keep it forever and ever. Famous last words, isn't that? Look, the watch is still here. And we're in the hippie town. Can I do anything? Nope. Wonder what we're going to be doing today. Are we going to work on a farm? Are we going to sing for money? Are we going to go busking? Come on, Sean, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, hey, they have another doggy. It's their, it's the uh, older kid's doggy, isn't it? See, you're awake now. All is well. Everything's just right as rain. Hey, we still uh, have that. Man. I feel the creek feels so far away. It probably is. Oh, look, we get to look in the bag. How? H how? 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 And that's Brody's note. This one's new. That's Daniel's drive. What the hell, Daniel? The first effing rule. What was that kid running away from? And did his father see something? Oh, that's cute. Oh, yeah, we drew that zombies. Daniel really fluffed up this time. He's got to learn to keep his mouth shut. 
The Spirit Squad, the Silver Runner. Not really in the mood for Xmas, but I'll go play along for Daniel. He really misses having fun like a normal kid. Uh, please, if you see this person, Kim and Reyes, missing adult. How many missing persons posters are there? What, what the F is wrong with this region? Alright. We're at Cassidy. Finn. Oh. Who, Claire and Steve and Chris. Cassidy is the dreadlock girl. Finn is the dreadlock boy. Ingrid, Anders, and Jacob? We met the new workers from Europe. Anders and Ingrid. Or Ingrid? Cute couple. Makes me want to travel overseas someday. Had a long talk with Jacob. He's like a little kid. He lived in some religious commune from Haven Point, Nevada. Looks fine here, free. We'll be hooked up for Mexico. Hopefully your money doesn't get stolen. Let's exit. Let's go meet the fam. The new family that we are traveling with. Gotta put them pants on. Nice combat boots. Bad head. Had a good sleep? Oh. Hi, uh. Yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Right. Nice. I'm gonna have to blur that. Okay. I better hit the shower before they use all the water. I think I'm gonna have to blur that. Breakfast time. Breakfast! Whoops. Cassidy's tent. Giant Redwood, where's breakfast? Oh, breakfast is here. Did you see all that uh, fog? No more fog. Don't know what's inside. Most of them aren't too fancy to get good food. This time he has and fast food job. Coffee time, Sean. Man, grass on the stitch your ass down. Oh, uh, how, oh, okay. Pour and drink. What? You hear that? Um. I heard nothing, Penny. Mm, maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? A swarm is coming. Bugs? You mean bugs? <laughs> I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narc, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You saw them? When? How? Because Vision and Sean, they watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. Same here. Same here. Plus, this was a steady gig. Don't want to hit the road yet. Tanny won't either. Don't puss out at the narc show. Meryl takes care of his pee. Yeah, he's a major dick. But fair. He always puts us to work every season. Some of us need this shit job. Not the tourists here. Cush gig. Not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. It's legal in Washington. It's legal in Washington, and it's worked out okay. It's gonna be legal everywhere, soon anyway. Legal but controlled. By who? The bitches who made it against the law. Yay, freedom. I don't know. Things have to change. Oh. Um, did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Yes. Okay. What's our task board? Yep. I'm up for some heavy bear lifting tonight. 
So, Dougie! Because we... Better check on Daniel. Oh, that, I guess that's not the right way. <laughs> a long fucking way to work a farm. Yeah. Been working for three years in a coffee shop to pay for the trip. It's funny how I like being out in the forest now. I actually feel... Free? Mm. Yep, strange how that's working. All right, let's go get Daniel. Let's make sure he's not playing with magic or his powers. What the fuck, man? You're awesome. Come on, once again. Yes, on the man. <laughs> Holy shit, that was dope. What's up, guys? Morning target practice. Six. Bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja. Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey, seriously, I've never seen anyone throw like that. Six bullseyes, really? He's totally using his powers. Then he trained you well. Six bullseyes, dude. Yeah, I got better. Lucky. You can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts. How did you learn to aim so good? Not true, liar. You're the one who sucks at baseball. Yeah, right. Hey. Oh, they're wow. fighting. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but, but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean, idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? It was my turn. Come on, let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a shot. Oh, I have to aim. Oh, that. Th oh, this is hard. Your right arm. More like this. Better aligned. Better aim. All right. It did say stabilize after I clicked it. What's wrong with you? After a while, the tip of that blade is going to be very dull. Sweet. Oh, I get what's going on. I know you can do it. All right, Finn, we're gonna get this bullseye. Sean, that's the secret. Oh. Let's show the kid what's what. <laughs> Come on. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja. But you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> he totally made it worse. Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Woo. After that worked out, I need some more fucking Java. Wait. Don't go yet. Uh, it's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. If it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? Can I say that Daniel's in w Daniel with long hair is adorable? Daniel, I can't believe you cheated. What? What do you mean? Come on. Don't play dumb. You're showing off in front of Finn. You want him to find out? Finn is cool. You want to tell anybody? You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that! I'm not a kid anymore! Daniel, don't... Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Now! Or what? I said stop, Daniel! Don't! 
Yeah. Just don't do that again, Daniel. I told you. You're good. But you don't have control over your powers yet. Yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. We'd rather hang out with our new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job, okay? But you're right. Let's, um, do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Aww. Go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Port Below. Remember? It's gonna take forever. We should try and find Mom. Because we have her letter now. Nope. I think that's a big no. Cause aren't they gonna the cops already found them at their grandparents. Aren't they gonna be watching the mom? And didn't they have this fight three months ago? We already had this conversation. Sorry, Daniel, but we can't. We don't even know where Karen really is. Oh, she's a Karen? We're looking for her. She She's one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. I hear you. It's not fair. But you're my brother. And my responsibility. I have to take care of you. I know. But I'm not going to be a kid forever. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh oh. Bid Joe. We gotta go. Nope. Let's kind of just be okay with that. Hey, Daniel. Remember what I said. Low profile. Yeah. Okay. We're cool. I don't like working on a farm. I know. It could be way worse. We're making cash in Nano. Okay, okay. Wish we could check on Pip. Just see if he's okay. We will, Daniel. When we're safe and far away. I know. I had fun playing hide and seek last night, especially in the dark. You weren't scared at all? <laughs> Come on. Not with Finn. We had the best hiding spot. Aww. Finn's like a new big brother, and I don't know if that's a good thing. But we gotta get to work, so hurry up, Anano. We gotta get to work. Work in the pot farm. Whoops, whoops, I'm attached to a bush. We're here. Don't leave without us. Sorry, we're like ten minutes late. Sit here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to get me a knife. Ah. Is that Cassidy? Yep. Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. Was the Dark Knight out yet? Cause she said the infamous line, why so serious? We're off to work. Here we go. 
So at this point, I'm like, whatever, dude, just give me more booze, you know? Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jumps. You're not listening to anything I say. Are you? Yeah. Nope. Yes, I am. The party. Oh shit! Too much sex, guys. Too much sex. Shut up. Two fees in a pod, these ones. I'll show you the battle scar. Is Sean jealous? Just keeping an eye. Just keeping an eye. You know? Yeah. Big brother watching. Hey, who's the nice master here? Did you lock the tent? What a thing stopper shooting at him. So. How do you feel? Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up here? <laughs> With us misfits. I feel free. I actually feel. Cause the other options weren't nice. Like I'm a dirty hippie. I hope so. Hipster. Hippie. Shut the fuck up back there. I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sat phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. A thousand times. Big Joe is a cold. They come from the factory of Silicon Valley. <laughs> We're gonna joke with it. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. Bigfoot. Think about it. Big Joe. Bigfoot. Whoa. <laughs> you might be on something. See? We're fitting in. Stinky? Big Joe foot. <laughs> Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> right on. Come on. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> He's kind of a mystery. Hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. I can't hear my music. You're ruining my music, you kids. Get off my grass. <laughs> Ooh, yay, non copyrighted music. Oh, it's. Yay, Life is Strange 2, Episode 3, Wastelands. Look at the pot farm we have to go work at. But isn't it legal in California at the time of this game? Let's try to go to bed early tonight, okay? Yes, please. And no weed. So fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Change. Oh, decisions. Nope, she's our friend. So we'll get in trouble. Hey, come on. That's not cool. Uh, are you really shit talking me, Cheech? <laughs> huh? Forget it, Sean. Seriously. We're late. I don't care if that makes him more mad at us. You're gonna get us kicked out of here. Well, I just want it to. What? Be a white knight? I can take care of myself, Sean. Bro, that guy would have beat you down. <laughs> so maybe I should have just done nothing. But I didn't want my friend, my new friend, to be like, Hey, you didn't stick up for me. You are a piece of trash as a friend. I wanted to stick up for my friend. Every once in a while, you have to stick up for your friends. Unless they do something completely whack and you don't want to stick up for that, like, something oh, thanks for coming. very illegal. Don't stick <laughs> up for that. Way, right? uh, no, no, we're sorry. We, we just... You don't get paid to be late. Next time, you won't be. Listen up. I need two teams today. Jen, Penny, Anders, 
And what's your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Like I want to go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you want to trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside. Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work in the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Language! This is YouTube and we can't swear anymore. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls, but this is a pot farm and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Got it. Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. We're not gonna investigate that. I'm gonna go check on him then. How old is he anyway? Oh, uh, nine. He's nine years old. Jeez, tough age. Gotta keep a close eye on him. We will. Not my business, but... You got kids? Yeah, a daughter. Twelve years old. Do you... Do you get to see her? Not often. But she needs the money I get out here. Okay, I'm not your buddy. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck out of here. We got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank we, you. We had at least one bonding moment with boss man. Boss man. Boss boss man. Because it's our boss man's boss. Is that a squirrel climbing the tree I see? Hey. Can you okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it. All right, we good? Yeah, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told them they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? You know the drill. <sighs> what? Dude. You sucked ass. I feel like I'm in prison. Well, we got to. I hear you, but we're not. This is just our job, man. We have to follow Meryl's rules. For now. Especially you. What do you mean? He's not into having kids around here. So don't give him any excuse to get pissed off. Yeah, you never know with Meryl. He can be cool, but scary when he loses his shit. Okay, jeez. I'm not doing anything bad. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet, for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around, then? None of your damn <laughs> There's business. nothing on his phone. But I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. Alright, let's All right, man. pick up some weed. Just... Pick a bud and get to it. Oh, shoot. I didn't know there was going to be... Uh-oh. There we go. How many times am I going to have to do this? Oh god. Look at all these buds. I 
Oh, this is nothing. Last spring we were trimming about two or three pounds a day. Whoa! That's a lot. Yep. Had to work overnight all the time. Fifteen hours straight once. Yeah, trying to forget. I was done with Kush after that. <laughs> Whoa. We are lucky. Right, and then your arms fall off. Fuck all that. All right. How many of these am I going to do? Can I quit? Like, are we going to go till that pile's done? You get any reception, Big Joe? This place is a cell killer. Oh, of course. I should clean my scissors. After this Goodness. one. After this bud, we'll clean our scissors. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit. Ooh. You okay, sweetie? Look, Daniel, you just zoned out. We all do it. Then we don't. Alright, now we pick up more. Mm, my ass hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, <laughs> just work. Okay. Just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. Feels like working in a factory. Imagine doing this for years. See? Sean agrees with me. As always. This is fun at first, but it does start to get old after a while. How about stop bitching so much? Sean, you're already on Meryl's shit list. Don't get us all kicked out of here. Just sit and trim. We are sitting and trimming. Don't know how long this is gonna take. Really don't know how long this is gonna take. You really need to do something about your hair. What? What? What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess. Yes. But worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. <sighs> Clean the scissors. No! I meant to clean the scissors. How do I clean scissors? Okay. I've only done seven. How many do I need to do? That pile doesn't even look like it's getting smaller at all. But oh look, Daniel has his own teeny tiny... You could snap your fingers and go anywhere. Uh, Cassidy, we get it. Over and over. You don't want to be here. Give me a break. I can't. So what? If I'm allowed to dream a little, you won't get hurt. <laughs> Promise. What about Louisiana? Must be so sweet this time of year. Okay, Ugh. I'd love to visit New Orleans. Yep. Check out the voodoo shops and the blues band. <laughs> that would be cool. No. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. You guys are all the same. Cool, let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. This is Joe, my life. Come here for a sec. Ah, shit. It's always something. Uh, Let me guess, the cops busted us already? Family. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. What's this? Whoa, whoa. Down. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of uh, us have to work. Please. I bust my ass like everybody else. Uh-huh. Don't even. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts. Wah, wah. Get off my crack, Hannah. We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we going to yeah. squat out here forever? 
Build a Whoops. house. What? Stop. You know we voted to stay for a while. Once it's legal, we ain't got no more job here. So they're just about to legalize it in California. Gotta be more focused. I'm just over this place. Then go. No. Uh, take the fuck off. We're Water. Family. We stick together. You're on the bus. We're off the bus. Hey, everybody, chill. Fast. Let's not get take your time, dude. Back. This is our business. Just grow up, Cassidy. Stop acting like a princess. Thanks, Mom. Anything else? Yeah. But we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. Problem, You're clueless. You know the drill. Do your work. Yeah. Sure. Fuck this shit. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. It's been a long, crappy week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay? He looks like he's about to cry or something just really, like, emotional happened. Everyone's scissors needs to be rinsed off, and I don't think water just w rinses it off. Trimming away at the weeds. We're gonna cut ourselves. Maybe. Are we back at- no. We're- yeah, we're back. Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. You gotta be careful with those scissors. They're sharp as fuck. Yeah, no shit. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. Ain't sexier. Yes, cause scars are sexy. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? I did. Love the Jerry Springer moment when Hannah and Cass started picking on each other. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. Short-term memory loss. Does he have a bottle cap in his ear? Yeah. Too bad Meryl was in a pretty shitty mood from start. He ruined the day. <laughs> I got that from his speech, yeah. <laughs> He's uh, having a hard time with his own bosses. This isn't Silicon Valley. You should know better, then. Threats don't make people work better. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job, cash, friends, safety. Sean, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. Deep, huh? I swear, he acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. And he's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> My brothers are like that. So let's see what his story is. Story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were okay. I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aw, <laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kind of mm, messed up. My dad was like a front for hot cars. Yeah, he'd steal, strip, and sell them. My brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. That's Until not typical. Yeah, busted. Fucking feds wanted me and my brothers to testify. <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. Damn, Finn. That's 
sucks. Uh, what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack, and... Don't you come anyway, back no more, no more, no more, no more. You know, I love traveling. Checking out new well, things. Yeah, going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. Not to Daniel. He doesn't even want to go. At all. Instead, he wants to go to Arizona to see his mom. Fuck that. It can be tough growing up, not knowing your folks. He needs closure. That's all. Give him time. Mm. He'll follow you anywhere. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, huh? Where's Fine. the water tanks? Glad I can help. <laughs> Almost done. Nope. Need two more hands, Dishmaster? Uh, yeah. That'd be cool. I'm on it. So boring. <laughs> yeah. I don't miss doing the dishes. Then why are we doing it? Because everybody's got to do something. That's it. Finally. Now I gotta go do the water tanks. You need a hand with your own chores? That'd be awesome. I need help moving the water tanks to the shower and kitchen. Okay. I'll wait for you near the water tank. So we can take on those barrels. Thank you. Now I see the water tank. Daniel. Are you not going to help? Is there no option? I guess not. Let's lift it. We fast clicking and we got it. Let's get these over to the kitchen and shower. All right, so I got kitchen over here. I don't know where the showers are yet. Where are the showers? So we set you down here. I think I made some good trims today. And talking with the girls as always. Fun because you're a teenage boy and that's what you like. Really, Daniel? You said you're gonna help me. And we fast click again to get this up. Come on, Sean. You got this. I know you got this. I believe in you. Let's carry that one to the shower. Okay, new question. Showers equal where? Penny's all over the place. He'll go anywhere. That might be a shower. I left Santa Fe because of his health. No money, nobody. That is the shower, but I can't walk. Oh, that's walking fast. And we got the water tanks. It was like this year than other places we saw. Too many junkies and homeless. They go together sometimes. No home. Get high. What the fuck else are you going to do on the street? Clean it up. We see so much trash in the forest around here. California is very green starting to look like shit. Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit. Especially when you live off the grid. We all should try. It's everybody's planet too. Sweden is not perfect. But we try to be more eco-conscious. We only have one planet. I think you both are missing the point, guys. Hannah wasn't talking about the environment. When you don't have any food or... Oof. 
You're not gonna recycle or eat only organic. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Taurus talking shit again. Like you guys have it so hard. We did not say that we did. Tell me again how many hours you spent on a plane during your awesome trip around the world, and then you come crying about hobos spreading garbage in the forest? Good point. Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa lecturing us. Funny, right? <laughs> Hannah, I'm sorry. We were not trying to lecture you. We are grateful we found that job and that you let us stay in the camp with you guys. I know. We're cool. Do you hate us now? You're funny. Don't worry. You know. Less potato. Me. All I care about is my family right here. These three gutter punks. The rest, none of my business. And we're almost done. Not used to peeling potatoes, huh? A lot of work. I know how to cook. Just not everything yet. Yeah, but you hate it. You want a pizza, watch TV. I can tell. Like those kids who come through here all psyched and they have to bust ass. A lot to learn. A lot to learn. I mean, you've been doing this for years, right? Pretty much. Ten years or so. I know. I know. We all got scars of our own. We just fucking hate phonies. Too many here. Plus, your backpack doesn't make you one of us. I know. That's not what I'm trying to do. Last thing I want is to interfere with your group. I'm not saying you can never fit. Just letting you know how it is. You can't be part of our family unless you open up. She just glitched. Is she from the Matrix? Not a pit stop. Out in the wild, sharing is caring. I hear you, but my brother comes first. Always. That's good. Shows you're not a selfish brick. Met way too many. What brought you here? You don't have to tell me, but how did you end up on the road? My community was a mess. Too much wasted talent. My mom, she was an artist and a drunk. Tried to get her into rehab countless times. Worked my ass off to buy her paint and stuff. Until I realized she was just returning everything to Z-Mart to get the cash back to buy her booze. I just knew I had to get the fuck out before that curse would get me too. I'm glad you're at peace now. How did you so, meet the others? How did you hook up with the others? Met Finn at some squat when he got out of jail. Young punk, but old soul. We just clicked. Then we ran into Cassidy a year ago. Pissed at everything. Hurt. Unable to commit to anything. Except us. Then Pennywise found us. Here in Humboldt. Tripping about his friend Jinx. But, you know... We just fit in. Now we're all pretty fucking tight. Hell yeah, you are. It's awesome. You like this life? So, are you satisfied with your life now? I'm grateful for what I have, yeah. Not everything is perfect, but we got balance, prospects. That's way more than I had before. Thanks for taking the time to talk, Hannah. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't mean to grill you, Sean. It was a long day. Could have said, well, yeah, it's cool. Hannah's tough to figure out. Don't fuck with her. Now, where's Penny? Ooh, I could sit and draw. Can we sit and draw Finn? Because something tells me that's something Finn wants to see. Okay, so they fixed the mechanic. Hopefully it stayed fixed. Draw Cassidy, draw Finn. We'll draw Finn, that way people don't keep thinking we have a crush on Cassidy. Do we can't do both? Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this.
Finn's All right. attitude is so nonchalant. <laughs> like he's not bothered by anything. Hmm. Well, let's get some more details. But I can add more details if I want. Yes, I want. There we go. There's the details. <laughs> American graffiti. Man, you are so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah. Um, thanks. Kind of glad we didn't do Cassidy. <laughs> Let me be the judge. Whoa, whoa. Give it back. Please, Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, down, boy. Really, John? I didn't mean to freak. <sighs> Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. You're good. Oh, no way! That looks exactly like him. Now Wait say, don't you think draw me like one of your weird. French girls. Don't overthink everything, Sean Diaz. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? Practice. Practice. I just keep trying to get better. I would draw no matter what. That's what keeps me going. <laughs> yeah, same here. With my music. This place is great for inspiration. These redwoods, the fog, the ocean. It smells like hope and freedom. Except for the working part, I guess. Yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. Don't you miss you anything? miss about your old life? Anything? Besides some friends, nothing. Well, my own bathroom. <laughs> Out here, you see that you don't need all that bullshit they sell. <laughs> That's freedom. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. I do like traveling around, but I want a base. Will you ever go back to Texas? Going back to all the crap I left behind? No way. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> Friends and family. Apart from my dad, I'd say Liza. Definitely. She was like my best friend. I miss our talks. I'm sure she's very special. Even when I had a shitty day, she would always make me laugh. Always. Feels like years since we talked. Probably never again. But things change, right? Yep. So keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. Now where's Daniel? Cause if, can I sit and draw again? Nope. Well, let's go talk to Finn and show him what we drew. Speak. What up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. I just let my hand sculpt the wood, and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. Okay. Let's go find Daniel. Finn is too punk rock to be a farmer. He is, but where's Daniel? Nope. We just got done talking to Cassidy. We, uh, talked to Hannah. He said he's probably... Okay. Time to help Daniel do some power training. Okay. He's waiting at the lake. That's exactly what I was trying to do. 
I just need to make sure it's going the right way first. We're going to go teach Daniel some more moves or train. Hopefully nobody sees us because I don't know where Penny is. Everybody else was there except for Penny. Oh. I was really in the zone today. Hope that'll thing. Really? I didn't feel like we were in the zone today, and I was the one helping you. So if you think we were in the zone today, thank you. Daniel! Hey, bro! What's up, little bro? Sweet. But can you do it without your power? Oh, yeah. I can do better with my own skills now. Next level. <laughs> Onward. Ready to rumble? I am so ready. Team Howl first. Let's start with our Team Howl. Woo! Diaz Lobos. Ow, 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 ow. We still sound okay. Now, let's do this. Come on. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. Yes, let's hit the other side because we want to get further from the group. Oh, sorry, squirrel. I didn't mean. That log looked secluded enough to be out of sight. We are going to stop right here. Thank you, kittens. The next part of Life is Strange, episode 3, will be out tomorrow, Saturday. If you like this video, hit that button down below. Comment and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, kittens.